Serap Medical Center, a private medical institution in the Gambia, has signed a grant contract with the Japanese Embassy Office in the Gambia for the implementation of a support project. The project will have the Japanese Embassy supply medical equipment to the Serap Medical Center in Kanifin. Mr. Dasuki Nomoto, Second Secretary Embassy of Japan. Mr. Yoshinara Suzuki, Project Coordinator. Uh, Dr. Abubakar Jha, Medical Director of Sharab Medical Center. Mr. Mohammed Tambiedu, Hospital Administrator. Uh, Mr. Mohammed Jha, CEO of Q Group. Um, Mr. Nuha Marena Ajib Bank, members of the press, staff of Sharab. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol duly observed. You've all made a huge effort um, to be here today despite your very busy schedule. And on behalf of uh, us all, we are very uh, appreciative and offer you our most grateful welcome. Um, to our esteemed guests from Japan, uh, Mr. Dasuki Enomoto and Mr. Suzuki, Konichiwa and Yokuso, you're most welcome. My name is Chamila Larifja, and I'll be chairing this very brief session. Today is a momentous occasion in the history of Sharab Medical Center. Um, we are very privileged and honored to have been selected by the Japan Grant Assistant for Grassroot Human Security Projects to develop a fully equipped medical laboratory uh, in the Gambia. Um, Shara Medical Center is currently a household name, name in the Gambia. It's a private medical facility. Our aim is to bring the highest quality of medical care at a very affordable price to the Gambian, to Gambians and also non-Gambians. Uh, we've had also many people coming from outside the Gambia to seek medical assistance here. Um, one of our, our dreams, our visions, have been always to have a complete laboratory that uh, will help us uh, provide this quality medical service. And therefore, we can see we are all very excited today to be here to witness this, um, to receive this grant from our very generous donors um, to, to make this uh, dream into a reality. Um, very soon, the dream will become a reality when this, with the signing. So for now, it's still a dream. Um, so our short uh, program today, uh, you already have it uh, with you. So we will go immediately into the real deal, which is actually the signing. The signed gift contract allows the Sarap Medical Clinic to receive 61,000 euros assigned to purchase medical equipment. This support is implemented within the framework of Japanese grant assistant for the grassroots human security projects. As the director of the Sharab Medical Center, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hello, good morning. Uh, it is a great pleasure for me to sign on behalf of the government of Japan the grant contract with the Sharab Medical Center under the Japanese grant assistance for grassroots human security projects for the implementation of the project for supplying medical equipment to the Sharab Medical Center. The government of Japan has a long-lasting contribution to address global health challenges by mobilizing expertise, taking actions, and helping to achieve tangible results. The reason why Japan priorities health, health comes from its conviction that, it's, uh, that it is among the most important elements as far as human security is concerned, and therefore strives for the protection and the empowerment of all individuals and to fulfill their potential. In this respect, Japan supports strongly developed countries in collaboration with the international community to achieve universal health coverage uh, against disease including, including non-communicable disease. Indeed, at, at the Universal Health Coverage Forum in Tokyo on December, uh, Prime Minister of Japan, Mr. Shinzo Abe, pledged to support healthcare service in developing countries through a 2.9 billion US dollars funding. And today, uh, with this grant contract, we move forward the project
process told healthcare for all. The government of Japan is providing a grant amounting to 61,505 euros to the Sharab Medical Center to purchase, purchase medical equipment, including a chemiluminescence immune, immune, immunoassay analyzer, analyzer, an old hematology analyzer, an old chemistry analyzer, etc. Um, the project aims at securing improved access to essential non-communicable disease diagnosis service, especially by enabling a variety of blood tests, which will allow a timely and reliable medical treatment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this project will be an important step toward building resilient and sustainable, uh, sustainable health system in the Gambia, and will be a strong link between the Japanese and the Gambian people. Thank you for kind attention. Uh, Sharab Medical Center is a private facility uh, that aims to bring high quality affordable medical services to all Gambians. Since its establishment, we have expanded consistently and rapidly to bring hitherto unavailable and much needed medical technologies and services to the health system of the country. The presence of Sharab in the country has saved Gambians and by extension the government a lot of money. It has saved many lives and made many lives more tolerable. Services which were not available in the Gambia were brought in by Sharab and hence people who had to travel abroad to get these services could now access it at their doorstep. In addition, people who would not have otherwise afforded traveling abroad and hence suffer and die with their ailments could now be saved at affordable costs. Some of these facilities include endoscopic surgeries, example for prostate disease, for which people had to travel abroad, upper and lower GI endoscopies, penile implants, etc. In fact, these developments have resulted into something that has never happened in the country before. People traveling from beyond Senegambia to the Gambia. We know of people traveling from Gambia to other countries, but we didn't know uh, before of people having to travel from their countries outside the Gambia to the Gambia for medical tourism. We have had patients from Nigeria, from Ghana, and from Liberia who knew about our services from the internet and from their friends travel to Sharab Medical Center here and stay in a hotel and receive their treatment in Sharab and go back to their country. I'm happy to say that all these individuals received successful surgeries here and returned to their countries very happy. I am sure that we will get more referrals from those countries and hence the need to encourage Sharab to set up for medical tourism in the country. One of the much needed and critical services within the health sector in the country is the unavailability of comprehensive laboratory services in the country. Therefore, many patients either travel abroad for these services or clinicians have to manage these patients blindly. And this increases the chance of misdiagnosis and mismanagement of patients. Therefore, this grant will help to reduce that problem. Sharab Medical Center is therefore grateful to the Japan's Grant Assistance for Grassroots Human Security Project, GGP, for providing us with a grant to establish a multi-specialty laboratory in the country. This grant will enable the center to provide the much needed laboratory expertise and technologies to effectively and accurately diagnose disease conditions. Our objective is to ensure that both private and public have access to these services without having the, to, the need to travel abroad. Laboratory services resulting from this project will also include, include those required for intensive care unit and accident and emergency units, which are not well developed in the country. This grant, therefore, will ultimately contribute to saving lives and improving health security for all Gambians. We thank you very much, and thank you for coming.
Thank you all for joining us this morning for witnessing the signing of a grant between the Japanese Embassy and the Sh and Sharab Medical Center for a more than for a modern state of the art uh, laboratory facility for both private and public use. As the hospital administrator of this institution, I consider this a privilege to give these re um, closing remarks and words of thanks to our distinguished friends and partners and all the persons who have today witnessed this great um, grand signing, not only as a successful event, but as a very memorable and historic one. I take this opportunity on behalf of our medical director, Dr. Abubakar Ja, the deputy director, Dr. Shamila Ja, the, man, the management and their staff of Sharab Medical Center to express and convey our most profound thanks and appreciation to the Japanese Embassy for this grant. I must mention and reiterate our very deep appreciation for this valuable assistance to avail us with the, um, the resources for our modern state-of-the-art laboratory. Sharab Medical Center aims to be known as the most qualitative medical facility in the Gambia by providing high standard and quality medical service. May I take the opportunity to thank some of our partners present here, the key group, American Embassy, USP Score, IG Bank, and the press. May I again seize the opportunity once more to convey our gratitude to the Japanese government, to the Japanese Embassy. Thank you. At the end of the signing of the grant agreement, I sounded the opinion of the director of Serap Medical Center on their challenges, benefits expected on the table, as well as sustainability. Well, um, I think in the whole of the resource um, strained countries or, or, or resource poor countries, uh, there's a problem with dealing with medical um, problems. The reason is that medical equipment and medical expertise is very expensive and if you are in a resource poor environment it is difficult to mobilize both human resource and equipment uh, to be able to function properly so one of the difficulties to be honest are those two uh, human resource number one qualified people qualified doctors to run the institution and the other problem is the equipment to be able to run the, 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 the institute. This grant is affecting the equipment part of things. So they've given us a considerable amount of money to be able to buy some of the equipment that are needed to be able to do our work properly. Well, uh, the relationship started many uh, months or even, I dare say, a couple of years ago. Um, uh, they uh, heard about us and heard about the good work that we're doing in the country and they felt that they could uh, partner with us to be able to improve these services, uh, to be able to give the grassroots people access to quality service. And we've been working on the project for some time now to be able to um, develop it to a standard in which it can benefit everybody in the Gambia. Um, and that is how we, 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 we came to know each other and how we worked towards this uh, program um, and uh, it finalized into today signing the grant. Well, this is the reason why they accepted to give us the grant because uh, they have looked into all functions of Sharab and they have seen uh, that it is uh, a center which if helped will be able to sustain uh, these activities. We started from nothing. This 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 uh, institute actually started from nothing and now has built itself to this level um, uh, on its own, you know. So it is uh, a credible institution. Um, it's a household name now. Wherever you go in the Gambia, people know about it. People travel from all over the country to come specifically here from Basse, from Bansang, from, from the furthest areas coming to this place because of the services that we provide. So we are ready for it. Um, we have the human resources to be able to run it and we have the ideas to be able to put it forward. <music>